What is going on, people? It's your boy Oreo Joe coming at you today, bringing you an episode of Assassin's Creed Origins. Kind of, I want to talk about two things today. I want to talk about one of the things I don't like about this game, and I want to talk about the modern day element, which I don't know about you guys, but I've been waiting 17 fucking games to have them continue the fucking modern day stories. And now that they kind of seem like they have, I want to talk about it. So, anyway, starting off. One of the things that I really don't like about this game is what they did with the free running. So, you know, the last couple games we played were Unity, which everybody loved, obviously, and Syndicate. Now, those games had a very particular free running system where you free run up, you free run down, and it kind of makes everything pretty fluent depending on where you're trying to go. I loved that system. Some people didn't because they couldn't get used to it. Whatever. That's on them. What they did with this game was they kind of reverted back to their original uh, Assassin's Creed 3, Assassin's Creed 4, Assassin's Creed Rogue style with the way that you climb and the way that you move and things like that. So, it's a lot simpler, if you ask me, which is totally fine. But one of the things I don't fucking like is you can't vault over stuff and it kind of it kind of breaks the flow when you're free running. You know what I'm saying? Like... I'm trying to find a good place. I wish I was kind of like near a market instead of this big ass fucking temple. But I'm gonna jump over this. Uh, that little bunny hop. That's it. Should have just been able to vault over that, but nope. You do a little fucking assassin bunny hop. And I am so goddamn sick of seeing this fucking bunny hop. No, it's not me. It's not. Oh, you just don't know how to play the fucking game. It's really not. I've looked everywhere that I possibly could, and it's just not a thing. It's just really not a fucking thing. You do this little fucking bullshit ass bunny hop and it's fucking irritating as shit! It actually did get me in trouble once too because there is also no way to just jump because in order for you to run, you just gotta push forward on the stick more. So if you, depending on how fast you wanna move, just determines how fast you're pressing the stick, which makes running a lot easier, but you can't jump because there's no high or low profile button in this game. So. I was sitting on like a little ledge or whatever, and I needed to jump to the ledge above me. A guy was about to see me in like a couple seconds. All I had to do was go up, and then I would have been on a platform where he couldn't fucking see me. Well, that didn't work out because there's no way to just jump in this game. You can't, it doesn't, you, you can't jump in this game without like free running. That, I feel, is like a major blow to a lot of different ways that people can play. So, it's it's a very minute, minor flaw. But, in my opinion, from my perspective, it is a flaw. So, you know, it is what it is. Let's see. This bird is great, by the way. So, anyway, I wanted to talk about that one thing that I didn't like in the modern day element. So, here we go with the ladder. So this lovely lady here is named Layla, and this is the first person you've been able to play as outside of the Animus since Assassin's Creed 3. No, I don't count for, or Rogue, or, uh, what else? Oh no, it's just those two. For, or Rogue, and Unity and Syndicate didn't even have anything. They just kind of, yeah, it's not even worth mentioning. So anyway, this is Layla, and she's the person that you play as. now. Right up front, she and her handler, this girl she calls D, work for Abstergo. Which, at first, I was like, ah, damn, they made us Templars. But after further research into their files, I found something that might tell slightly a different story. It might paint kind of a different picture, which I'm going to kind of get into now. So, yes, you work for Abstergo, as you can see here. Abstergo is all over this thing, and then these retro T-Mobile dudes. I don't know, they look like they look like T-Mobile commercial people. I don't fucking know. Anyway, so, you know, you're doing your thing, and you're talking to your handler, and as you discover things in this little cave that you're in, which you can free roam around, free run around in, you, uh... You kind of talk to your handler in a way that gives off a vibe that you have this rebellious nature. For example, your handler's like, hey, what did you find? Oh, you found that? Good. Let's report in now. It's past time. No, let's not report in. 
it, every time we do, you know, they're just going to steal my work or some, something like that. That rebellious nature, that not very by the books type nature or whatever. Now that, coupled with the fact that if you look at her files, let me see if I can find one. I'm going to look at Desmond Miles. Everybody wanted to know about Desmond, right? Some people didn't. I did. So whatever. You can see this last line here. What happened to him? Why did he leave? This here. Why did Abstergo detain him? These types of things, plus all the other files that I read, because I did actually take the time to read through every email and every file that was in this little database here. It gives off the idea that she doesn't really know who she works for. So yes, she works for Abstergo, but she doesn't work for them as a Templar. She's just kind of like an employee. She doesn't actually know oh, they're Templars, and this is what the Templars are all about. She has the kind of personality that it seems almost like if she was to find out that she works for Templars, and then she was to also find out what it means to be a Templar, it seems very, very much to me personally like she could flip and be like, oh, fuck that, I'm done working for these guys, I'm going to go look for some other people to work for, and we all know in this game there's only two people to work for, either assassins or Templars. So anyway... There's that, the rebellious nature, plus the fact she doesn't actually know who she's working for, what's going on, plus the fact that she already has the ability to free run and things that an assassin should have, you know, things like that, plus, if I can find my goddamn way around this damn place, wait, okay, so the light's facing that way, that means this is the way I need to go, yes, absolutely, so... Right here, after you explore this cave a little bit, you find a hidden blade. How did you get your blade, Aya? So, from just the way my brain works, I'm thinking she has a hidden blade, she can free run, and she doesn't know who she works for, plus she's a rebel. These are all the makings of an assassin. So that's kind of why, as soon as I, I kind of delved a little deeper into her, I got really fucking excited because it's like, are we looking at the new assassin right now? Are we looking Are we looking at the new assassin right now? What? That is fan-fucking-tastic. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. It's kind of what I'm hoping happens. If it happens, great. I'm not even going to be mad. Now, maybe that is only because we've gone... 27 games without finding out what the fuck actually happened to Desmond. Yeah, sure, on paper he's dead. I have a theory about that that I don't necessarily need to get into right now. But right now he's not in the picture, one way or the other. Desmond Miles is not a factor right now. So the fact that they're giving us anything at all to go off of, a new person to play as, a new face, a new personality, new possibilities, that's just fucking terrific to me personally. So anyway, um, I'm hoping you guys might have some more theories or maybe able to shed some more light on that type of situation. I really don't know. These are just my personal theories. I haven't really played through enough of the game to know, oh, this is definitely what's going to happen. I'm kind of trying to pace myself a little bit. Plus, have you seen the map for this game? It's fucking huge! Look at this. Look at this. This is the map. All of this, all of this is the map. I wish I could zoom out more, but I can't. So this will just have to do. This is the map. Now I've been playing this day since I've been playing this game since release, and this is just what I've covered so far. And I haven't even explored all of like everywhere. It's just kind of once you reach a region, it kind of just highlights the rest once you hit a viewpoint. So I'm not saying I've explored every little tidbit of whatever this is right here, or these patches over here, which the detail on the map is fucking terrific, by the way. You can tell what's elevated and what's not. Like, I can tell this is like a mountainous range. This is kind of like a valley type deal right here. This is a canal, obviously. And that's great, but this map is insane. So obviously there's going to be days upon weeks of gameplay, and I'm fucking psyched for it. So, anyway. That's all there is right now, folks. That's all she wrote, folks. Thank you guys for watching. Please drop a like, a subscribe, and stay tuned for more Assassin's Creed videos, plus other shenanigans. Peace.